let's see how we can use titles and file names in a photos library. It is important to know that once a photo is in the photos library, you cannot change the file name. So if you use the ecosystem and iCloud photos, you take a photo on your phone, it ends up in your photos library on your Mac directly. So there's no way you can change the file name. And it will be something like img underscore one two three four dot jpeg in most cases. So you cannot change that. If you import photos from a different source, let's say from a USB or from an external drive or from a different camera, you could import them first onto your finder outside the photos library and process them there, rename the files, bring them into the photos library and from then onwards the file name cannot be changed anymore. But if you import them directly into your photos library, the file name will usually be something like I've said before, img underscore and the number or DCO or something like that, depending on your camera. However, what you can do instead is you can add a title to photo. Now I see it like that. I see the title more like a a little caption and it also helps to make a photo searchable so it's something that is worth thinking about now it is easy to add a title but it is also very basic I'll show you how to do that first of all what I always recommend is in your view go to metadata and make sure that titles is ticked on there we go. Now you see these are the file names. These are the typical file names when they come in through the phone directly or from a camera directly without being processed outside of photos first. This was processed outside of photos and then imported into photos. That's why it's got that different file name. Now you might wonder we just ticked on the box title and these names all appeared. So yes, this is actually the title showing here, but because it's gray and not black, I know this is the file name. So if it doesn't have a title, the file name is showing up in gray. As soon as it's got a title, it will look different. We can add title in two different ways. So we can either click directly in here and I type return and now it's got a title, fish. And you can see this is black and this is gray. So this means it's a title. This shows the file name because there is no title. A different way to look at it is Command I for the window, for the info window. And here I can see the fish, that's the title, and I can see the file name. And now when I click on a different image, let's take that one where we haven't added the title, you can see it says add a title, the file name and so on. So you can see if I double click on that file name and, and try to type, it doesn't work. I can't do anything about it. I can add that title though. So that's the lemon tree. And now again, it has changed to black and the file name has disappeared from that view, but of course it's still here. Now if I search for lemon, it will find that photo because it's in the title. Unfortunately, this is very basic. So I can select all of these photos and now various titles that comes up because one of them already has one. So I want them all to be the lemon tree. But there's no way that I could now automatically say that this is lemon tree one, two, three add a sequence. That doesn't work. It, they all going to have the same name. So I click return and now I've got three photos called the lemon tree. You cannot automate that and add a sequence or automatically add the date like I 
either in that one for example where the file name is the reverse capture date so that would be the 7th of March here we've got the 7th of March so that was done manually elsewhere you cannot do that within photos but that's okay you can add that title and it gives you a little indication and it makes the file searchable now for this I can again select all of them and I can say um, command I or to obey and now they all have that title there you go and this is also an information that if you ever export your photos from the photo library you can attach that information to your file 